there was something special inside Savage Arena this year for sure. Both the UT men and women won the outright regular season title, combining for 36 MAC wins in the process. The top seed in their respective brackets. The Rockets are ready to take on Cleveland and the rest of the conference with their sights set on a championship, the NCAA tournament, and a little bit of history. BCSN's Dorian Kraft has more. If defense does indeed win championships, then both the Toledo women and men are poised to capture a conference crown. The Rockets have been the best in team defense, the women allowing opponents just 59.8 points per game and the men not far behind at 68.4 points respectively. But in March, anything could happen and in a historically one bid mid-American conference, neither team is resting on their regular season achievements. Everything's on the line, so everybody has a little more edge. Competitiveness drives up, but I mean, I feel like we're playing our best basketball going into March and, and uh, tournament play, so I'm excited. Our kids have played extremely hard, wanting to prove people wrong, and I don't think that stops just because we finish first. It's not the first we want. We want the first in the tournament. Coaches often say preseason rankings are meaningless, and the Rocket Women showed that this season. Picked to finish eighth before the season started, it's a number that continues to motivate them as they prepare for Cleveland. We've used that to fuel our fire all season long. We've left it up in the locker room. We remind them constantly, no one thought you would be here. And we just want to continue to prove people wrong and have a chip on our shoulder. That's like one of the things we mentioned before every game is just like, we're actually thinking about getting shirts made that said hashtag eight. So that's been our motivation, I think, this whole season. It's a big motivating factor. Um, we just knew like we had to come out and show everybody like we're not eighth. Like we're up there, we're at the top, and we're just waiting for everybody to notice it and see it. If eight is the number discussed in the women's locker room, the one not mentioned in the men's is 42, the number of years since the last time the UT men made an NCAA tournament. This is about this team and our players. I mean, it, you know, most of these, all these guys only played the, the MAC conference only one time. We didn't play against well against Ohio last year in the semifinal. That's not us. The history has nothing to do with this team. Nothing. I mean, it's really outside noise. Like none of us have been here for 42 years, so it don't really like matter to us for real. But we, we know what we want. And our goals are. You know, I just got here last year, and as far as I'm concerned, when I got here, we were winning. That's the only thing that we're missing. So you know, regardless of it being 40 years or not, making the NCAA will be huge for our program. To get there, they'll need to win three in a row. Both the men and women each have four separate streaks this season of three wins or more. And both sides feel their best basketball is still to come. I think our toughness uh, ramped up. I think we haven't been tough all year. But I think our toughness really ramped up to a high level. And uh, I think it's been big for us. There's four, five plus people that can put up those numbers that we need. And if we have, um, like, different people are going to step up regardless. And I think that's what makes us so dangerous is two people can have an off night and we're still pushing for a really good game. We're just, we're so talented in the aspect that everybody can put up big numbers. Prior to this season, no team had ever swept the outright regular season titles, and the Rockets will look to continue their record-setting season and pursue sweeping the conference tournament. It all begins when Toledo tanks on Ohio in the opening game of the MAC tournament, Wednesday at 11 a.m. In Savage Arena, Dorian Kraft, BCSN.